last night. I don't think I woke up once during the night, which hasn't happened so far. It's about eight o'clock, uh, so I'm planning to leave here around nine, so I can get in Eagle around ten, which is when the shop opens, and hopefully I can get some food there, coffee perhaps. Um, but definitely I need to get food for today and tomorrow's walk. Um, mostly lunch and one dinner. Uh, because tomorrow evening I'll arrive in Broadford, which is where the trail already finishes. So I just have two more days of walking. The wind is making me feel a bit chilly, um, but it's just past nine now. I'm all packed up and I'm ready to go to Eagle. some pretty steep drops right next to the path. Behind me the first houses of Eagle. Uh, I hope the tea house is open, it's there, or that I have some other place to get coffee because I'm really craving a nice cup. All right, I got my coffee. There wasn't anything like bread or sandwiches that I could eat, so I think for the next two days I'll just survive on biscuits and stuff. I finished my coffee, left the shop and I'm now walking towards the next village which is called Torin. It's completely different again compared to the coastal walk and also it's so hot today. I feel like I maybe should change into my t-shirt um, if that were not like all the way at the bottom of my back. Uh, but it's beautiful here again. <laughs> following this dirt track um, there's cows around as well so from Elgo it's much more like farmland pastures very different than uh, yesterday's walk uh, and it's so warm today I think I already mentioned it before but it's really really hot <laughs> It's just so beautiful. Here it's very peaceful again. There's so much more bird sound. There's a lot more like trees and shrubbery. It's very calm here, but still there's these mountains to look at. And then the coast there. I really, really love this section. It's not too difficult either to walk. Uh, there's a very clear path all the way through and um, it's a bit boggy and like rocky. Uh, with loose stones and things but it walks quite easily and you don't really have to look at the map because there's just one way to go So I'm taking my lunch break here, which is a healthy <laughs> combination of crisps, a track bar and biscuits.
little soup with bread, two mugs of tea at this cafe here, uh, which was brilliant. So I kind of had my dinner. Uh, I also got some crisps for later today. Unfortunately, they only open at 11.30 tomorrow morning, so I'm not gonna wait to have my coffee here in the morning. They do also have so many brilliant looking cakes, <laughs> but I've already had so much sweet today, so I didn't have any cake. It's about four o'clock, so I'm just gonna walk until I find a good spot for camp tonight. Since I'm not planning to come back here in the morning, I can just walk as far as I feel like still today. I think I've walked another hour since the cafe to get back to the coast. And I found a good spot. It's quite windy here, but I like the green pasture behind me there. It looks really nice, but that's like even windier than where I am now. Uh, and like the views from here are incredible. Like the path is just like behind me, but um, I think it should be fine. Uh, it's I think probably close to five. So I'm just gonna pitch up here and take off my boots and relax. <laughs> My tent is pitched and I have a beautiful view all around me here. Since I don't really have, I mean still have bars for breakfast, but I don't really have any lunch um, that would really be lunch other than just more bars, muesli bars and things. So I'm just, I brought oats with me, which I haven't used at all yet. I haven't made porridge or anything once. So I'm just gonna make some overnight oats um, so I can have that for breakfast tomorrow so at least I'll have something substantial <laughs> to eat. Although I don't really feel hungry and like uh, the soup I had earlier at the cafe was really helpful. Um, and yeah I don't need to be hungry it's just uh, all of those bars are pretty sweet and at some point I just don't want to eat anything sweet anymore. <laughs> Um, but so yeah, I'm just gonna make those oats um, so I can have that for breakfast and Tomorrow is already gonna be the last day. So for the last night on the sky trail, I feel I have a pretty good spot here With mountains the sea and open views there It's about 6.30 in the morning, um, I slept really badly, I don't know if it was because my muscles are like sore and stiff and there was quite a lot of wind at night so my tent was just making all sorts of noises, um, but other than that I feel fine, <laughs> um, it's still early but I could no longer sleep so I just got up. Um, I'm just gonna sit, read, enjoy the view for a bit, um, uh, and I don't know, start on my very last day of the sky trail. It is about 8 o'clock and I'm all packed up and ready to go. It's a bit like I want to leave quickly and arrive at Bradford quickly because I'm really looking forward to like a lunch in a pub. <laughs> But on the other hand, this is the last day. I also really want to enjoy the last day and not rush it. Um, but we'll see how I feel, how my body feels, if I'm walking quickly or not, taking lots of rest or not. Um, but yeah, today should be good. It goes along the coast uh, behind me there. You can see the road uh, just a little bit. And then it goes land inwards to yeah, to reach Broadford, the end point of the Sky Trail. yet but 
it's so quiet here there's nothing but sound of the wind and the birds and also the sea is very very calm there's no waves whatsoever <laughs> section of the coastal part was very very windy uh, it was like fully exposed to the winds but uh, stunning and I'm now amidst the ruins of a village where the people were forced to leave in the mid 19th century and there's still a lot of walls um, and remains left here actually so I'm going to take a break um, because after this point I'm gonna head land inwards to reach Broadford, the end point of the trail. Uh, so I still want to enjoy these views of the sea here of the coast. So I thought this would be a very good point for a break. towards like a northerly direction this is actually the first day where the wind is like full in my face <laughs> Broadford is still about four kilometers away uh, but that's perfect because that means I'll probably get there right about lunchtime. Um, it was a beautiful walk so far. The first the coastal path and then uh, crossing the moors and now I have again view on these big mountains <laughs> behind me which I saw uh, a lot of yesterday. I guess those buildings there are the first, like the outskirts of uh, Broadford. And the gorse here is so brightly colored and so sweet smelling. It's amazing. I made it back to the coast and to Broadford, so the Sky Trail is officially done. Uh, so now it's time to find some food. Um, and I'm staying in a hostel tonight, but I can't check in and therefore shower until 4 p.m. Uh, so I still have a bit of time to spend so I'm gonna get some food um, 
and maybe stay there if it's a really nice place or then go somewhere else for like a dessert or, uh, or a pint to celebrate finishing the sky trail.